Children's Class of 2020. This is Mrs. Guile, and I'm here at the OE Gray Early Learning Center, where many of you went to kindergarten. If you did, you might remember losing your first tooth here. This is the building where you learned how to read and write. Um, I have lots of great memories from the OE Gray Early Learning Center when you were here in kindergarten. I'm going to share just a couple of those memories with you. One thing that was especially fun for me was our kindergarten rodeo. You might remember making this horse and we played lots of rodeo games. We went outside and you got to roast your own marshmallow and make your own s'more. You thought you were so grown up, it was so fun. Another special memory that I had was our 100th day of kindergarten. I remember we all made some type of a headband that you wore and we paraded through the halls blowing some squawkers. We went in and threw up confetti and celebrated 100 days of learning and fun. But my very favorite memory at the OE Great Early Learning Center was the letter people. You might remember me telling you that I put special magic air in the letter people to make them come to life. We got clues, we went on scavenger hunts to find our letter people. You were always so excited. You might remember Mr. B and his beautiful buttons. Let's see, there was Miss F and her funny feet. Mr. H and his happy hair. I remember Miss T and her tall teeth, just to name a few. Those are some of my favorite memories of the class of 2020 in kindergarten. I can't wait to hear about all the wonderful things that I know all of you are going to accomplish in the years to come. Congratulations, you will always have a special place in my heart. Hi seniors, this is Mrs. Bush, a kindergarten teacher from a few years ago when you were in kindergarten I was Miss Brockman and you have the distinction of being the very last class of kindergartners who went through the OE Great Early Learning Center. After you finished kindergarten the district reorganized and we were never OE Great Early Learning Center again. Now we teachers who were there really enjoyed our time um, in the building and we thought it was a pretty magical place and I sure hope you have the same feelings when you think back to 4k and kindergarten as well I want to tell you congratulations you are seniors Wow where did the time go but I will give you this little piece of advice the older you get the faster time goes it really does um, this year sure didn't turn out at all like any of us wanted it and it really wouldn't be the way you'd want to spend your senior year I'm sure but I guess life works in ways that we don't always have control of and I guess think about too the stories that you will have to share in the future with this um, I wish you all the best in the future good luck with wherever your plans take you and I know you will do well and I sure hope I can still see you around here and there take care when I reflect on some of the things that I really like about the class of 2020, um, I have a few things that come to mind. One, their outside the box creativity. Um, just some of the fun things in their imaginations were really fun to see come to fruition. Two, their perseverance and tenacity to overcome some different obstacles that I watched some of these kiddos um, go through. And three, I love the sense of humor of some of these 2020s. They just were so much fun to joke around with. It's been a really great ride watching you guys grow up. Hi seniors, congratulations. Best of luck to you in the future. So when this opportunity to become part of this video came out, I just could not resist, right? I even changed out of my sweatpants and put on jeans in order to talk to you today. Well, I wanted to tell you how fondly I think of all you guys. I was lucky enough to be your teacher, some of you, twice for in first grade and in sixth grade. And you were one of my best first grade classes ever. And you guys were part of my very first sixth grade class which I appreciate all your patience for, um, uh, I don't know, bearing up with me through. It was a learning experience for me. And I was so glad it was you who I had to um, kind of be my guinea pigs. 
Well, I have a lot of memories of you guys, and some of them are really particular. Like there's one of you, a little girl who made me a book in first grade that I still have. And then there was a boy who in sixth grade got so mad, stormed his way out of math class yelling, I hate your class, and then wrote me a little love note the next day. And then there's a particular little fishing fanatic who I had in sixth grade, like I said, and then oh, all the twins, right? You guys are kind of a unique group of kids, that's for sure. Well, my favorite unit of my favorite unit in science really is our little plant sex unit. And you guys were my first um, try with all that. It was amazing how embarrassed you all were. You were super cute and funny about it. And then, you know, you found your way, you managed yourself. So that's all good too. Well, you guys have worked really hard to be where you are today. And you've reached the end of this part of your life. And I'll tell you what, all that hard work's gonna pay off for you. You're ready to accomplish really great things in this world. I hope you do something important, something to make yourself happy, something to help our world, because the world really needs you. Best of luck. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020, it's Mr. Forda. Congratulations on graduating. Uh, I am so proud of all of you. Uh, you guys were my first class here in Platteville and I have so many fun memories um, of that first year. Uh, I think my favorite memory uh, of that year would have to be the last day of school. Uh, if you remember, my homeroom uh, had beaten me in the reading challenge that year. Uh, so as a reward, they were able to shave my head on the last day of school. Uh, as you can see, uh, that has stuck with uh, since then. Um, I wish you all the best of luck with whatever you are planning on doing after graduation. Um, I know you will all be successful in what you do, and uh, I couldn't be any prouder of you guys. It's been so much fun watching you from fifth grade all the way to the you know graduating this year. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck and good luck. Hi, class of 2020. <laughs> I want to just say congratulations to all of you. It's Miss Dressler here from the middle school way back when. Um, I just want you to know what an incredible class of students you are, both as individuals and as a whole. I didn't have you in class, as you know, but I did see you in the hallways. I did get to hang with you in student council. and We got to know each other, and we got to make a difference while we did that, and we had a little bit of fun. I saw you play in your sports and plays and musicals and concerts over the years, and I just couldn't be more impressed with you. I see your senior spotlights on Insta, and I'm just so excited about what you're taking out into the world and what you're going to be doing. And I feel proud to be a part of the Platteville community that helped you along the way. I know this year didn't turn out maybe like you wanted it to. And it's not what most of you would hope for, but it did teach you all a very valuable life lesson before you go off on your own. And I think that's important to note. Life throws curveballs sometimes, <laughs> you may have noticed, and you have to adjust your swing. I'm sure you all learned that this quarter. Being flexible and adjusting to what life throws is something you'll take with you through the rest of your life. And it keeps you on your toes and it makes you stronger in the process. You are your best resource, and don't ever forget that. Now you're off to the workforce, the military, or college, and I hope you go out there and take your best swing, no matter the pitch. I'm so excited to see all the places you'll go. Little Dr. Seuss reference for you. Um, so congratulations, and I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. And remember, your Platteville community is always here for you. Greetings, class of 2020. This is Mrs. Delecki reporting to you from fifth grade. And yes, I am still in fifth grade. Um, I just kind of wanted to, to get just to say a little bit that, you know, these last couple of months that we've gone through have forced us all to face trials like we've never ever dreamed of having to face before. But I think that these are going to turn out to be real benchmarks for you. It's those times in your life when you say, wow, you know, if I got through that, I can get through anything. And yeah, you can. And imagine just how easy it's going to seem once we do get back to whatever normal happens to be again. But 
there's so much good that lies ahead for you out there. So let's get busy. Let's put all those skills to use that you've been learning and let's go ahead and show the world what you can do. You have a great life ahead of you and we're counting on you. Thanks. Have a great day. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on making it to your high school graduation. Just think, four years ago, you were leaving our classrooms down at the middle school, and now here we are. So to honor your accomplishments, I thought it would be fun to uh, look back a little bit at the past. So I've put together a few photographs from another one of my favorite memories of eighth grade year. You might remember this book when we read it together. So enjoy these photos of yourselves from Outsiders Day in 2015. Congratulations, everybody. Hello, class of 2020. Wow, to say 2020, that makes me feel really old to think that you are graduating and that some of you are 18 and that's considered an adult. Ugh. I can still remember the days when you were in eighth grade, especially with Mrs. Rosemeyer's class. My favorite memory of most of you is when you had to recite monologues. It was so fun to watch you get out of your comfort zone and to have to produce a piece through acting in class. Remember the big spotlight was on you and you had to memorize your piece. And I can still remember Becca Hoyer reciting a piece about a girly girl who couldn't decide what to wear and had to take time to make herself look perfect with makeup and hair and all. And it was kind of ironic, because we know, Beck, you're one tough cookie. Anyway, congratulations to all of you. I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Never forget Platteville, and always be proud to be a Hillman. Hi, you wonderful seniors. You know you're creating history here, don't you? I'm gonna take you back though to middle school, way back when, when I got to know you. And you were full of energy and as a class, insightful, creative, just fun to be with. But you knew when to be serious and you loved goals and you loved a mission and you adored competitions like between classes and let's get this done and do a fundraiser. But you, you were all about community service and helping others. And on that point, you were a class because sometimes we look at a class as, you know, all of your individual um, traits and characteristics and awesomeness as a whole. And you guys really did step up and take care of each other. You looked out for each other. I hope you're doing that now. I know that you will all individually keep doing those kinds of things as you move forward. You have like the whole world ahead of you here. How amazing. And you've learned so much through this path that you'll take with you. And things are going to change for good after this. And you will be the ones that said, yeah, we were there when everyone decided to do it that way. And, and that's why we're doing it. So you'll have stories to tell. And you are a group that did love your stories. So the other thing about you guys, wow, fun, 
yeah, your sense of humor. You are just a blast every day to be with. And I miss you guys still. So I wish you all the best. And as you kind of move forward in whatever you're doing next, just think about taking those things with you. Take your talents out into the world. Have fun. Take care of each other. And just be you because you are amazing. Good luck and have fun, seniors. Enjoy this time and get those goals in line because that's how you roll. So best wishes. Hi there, class of 2020. I just want to let you all know that I have thoroughly enjoyed getting to know each and every one of you. Some of you I've had the privilege to get to know over many, many years and to watch you grow up into the young adults that you are. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives. I also want to leave you with one of my very favorite quotes. It's a quote that I try to live my life by. It is a quote by Maya Angelou. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. I wish you all the absolute best. Take care. Stay safe. And make good choices. Hey seniors, Mrs. Coyer here. Just wanted to give you a few words of advice. Be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. Congrats and best of luck in the future. Dear senior class of 2020, I am speaking to you about what happens in life when things don't go as planned and we're in the middle of a quarantine and you're missing each other and you're missing school and you're missing so many milestones that make your senior year special for you. But I want you to know that your bravery and your endurance of things that don't go as planned is what forms you and shapes you for your whole life. And um, some of the best things that have happened to me in my life have been detours or things that came up unexpectedly and didn't go as planned. So I hope when this is all over, you can find some way to know that some good came out of something really hard and, and really a big struggle for all of us. So please hang in there and know that just when you think you have everything figured out and planned to a T, that sometimes life throws you a detour and sometimes maybe that detour was the path you were meant to take all along. Um, good luck and um, stay true to yourselves throughout this entire process. I hope to see you this summer. Take care, goodbye. Congratulations, seniors. Way to go. I'm very proud of you. Um, one piece of advice that I have for you is when one door closes, another one will open. Be patient and go for your goals. Way to go, seniors. Hi, seniors. This is Mr. Saris, Coach Saris, saying thank you for a wonderful four years. You've been a sensational class and we're going to miss you greatly. You've been one of those classes that are incredibly well-rounded. You have people in your class who are great musicians, athletes, scholars, leaders, and actors. And I've had the great fortune to have been able to have most of you in my classes. And it's been an honor to coach many of you in the sports of cross country and track and field. I want to wish all of you the best of luck in all of the endeavors you pursue. And remember, you never regret giving your best, being thankful, and being kind. Take care and I hope you have a wonderful life. We're gonna miss you. Hello class of 2020. I just wanna say congratulations on graduating. I know that you are going to do great, wonderful things. And you know, you guys have shown that you are willing to, you know, do the hard work to get the best results. Um, we were asked, you know, what our favorite memory was and I just had so many, so it's really hard to choose but I would say that my favorite class memory with all of you would probably be during the um, a Midsummer Night's Dream unit where you guys you know you got up you acted you got to be all your favorite characters and that was really fun um, I also would say that the music parodies with that unit were my were probably the most fun um, Toto you know is a classic um, Africa was the song um, and they did a parody with that, a bunch of boys in togas wearing um, 
you know, with their skateboards. Anyway, it was a great time. That was a, a really great memory. And then um, Jocelyn, you did a great job. She did a song and she covered Cardi B. So um, it was really fun. And I just want to wish you guys the best of luck. I think that um, you're just an exceptional group of kids. So I hope you all, you know, have the best futures ahead of you. Someone class of 2020, I wish you nothing but health, happiness, and success down your road. I know you'll be awesome. A special shout out to the senior girls basketball team, state finalists. That is a phenomenal job. I wish I could have spent more time with you in the spring. The rest of the senior class, I wish I spent, could have spent more time with you as well. I wish you nothing but health and happiness. Congratulations, seniors. Hey, class of 2020, it's Madame Peters. I just wanna say congratulations to all of you and best wishes for a successful and happy future. Keep smiling. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. What an amazing three and three quarters years this has been. You have given us so much to be proud of. In and out of the classroom, you have been a high achieving class. You're also a class that's gonna be remembered for being kind, respectful, supportive, fun, engaging, a real joy to teach. So when asked about one of my favorite memories, I would have to say playing bum ball with you. It's not a game ah, I could have played with just any class, but yours was the perfect class to try it with because of the qualities I mentioned earlier. So as you move forward, Know that we are behind you all the way. Believe in yourself, and we know you can be amazing. Congratulations on your big day. You are coming to the end of one large part of your life. 13 years of school has been building up to this moment, but now there are so many opportunities and choices in front of you. And although one part of your journey is coming to an end, another is just beginning. So as you start your new journey, just remember to give your best effort in all that you do. Once again, congratulations and good luck seniors. Hey physics friends, past and present. I wanted to say congratulations. And I know that you all deserve so much more than what you're getting here. And I just wanted to know, let you know how proud I am of all of you. And I have a little something to share. For my physics friends, thank you so much for your time and spending that year with me. I had a wonderful time with you uh, over the course of the year. Thank you for everything that you did. Uh, to my hunch people, specifically Morgan Mum, Luke Gottschall, Adele Holder, uh, Josh Keycaper, and especially Jake Share, Sarah Share, Grace Dice, and Izzy Bowers. Those last four have been with me for four years and we have had a wonderful, wonderful time. I am so very thankful that you decide to show up every Monday and I get so many compliments on you and how awesome that you guys are. Thanks for everything that you've done these past four years. We've had some wonderful adventures. Uh, we've been frustrated many times. We've been lucky many times, and I'm very proud of everything that you've done. You're going to go on to do some incredible things. Thank you for everything. It's been nothing but a blessing. You guys have been uh, it's one of the, my favorite group of people that I've ever had in this 14 years of doing this program, so thank you. Hello class of 2020. There are not words to describe how much I adore your class. I would like to take a moment to say that I wish for you in the future to find your passion and enjoy creating your own lives where you get to decide where you wanna go and what you wanna do. And as long as you find happiness, a passion for something, and good friends and family to share that life with, that is all that I could wish for you. Happy graduation day, and I hope that you all keep in touch. Hey seniors, it's Miss Burry. I just wanna congratulate you on an amazing school year and your graduation. I also wanna give you one piece of advice going forward. Get organized. 
Organization has helped me not only as a new teacher, as a college student, but also in my personal life with things like taxes and other random things that come up. Organization is going to be your best friend. If you need help, you know where to find me. Congratulations again on an awesome school year. I am so proud of all of you. Well, the seniors, I want to wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations on your graduation. We are also proud of you um, through what you have done in the classroom, through sports, other activities, clubs, music, whatever it may be. You guys have done wonderful things and you will continue to do so many more wonderful things in whatever you decide to do. Um, so best of luck, congratulations, and have a great summer. Adios. Hello, class of 2020, Ms. Schober here, and I just want to wish you all the luck in the world. It has been so much fun having you at PHS the last four years, and I just know that you're going to go out and accomplish amazing things. Congratulations on your graduation, and good luck with everything in your bright future. Hi, class of 2020, this is Mr. Craze, and I just wanted to say congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys, and the the work that you put into those those four years of high school. I know it didn't end quite the way that anybody wanted or expected it to, but uh, you guys have come a long way since freshman world history and geography. Just want to say that I'm, I'm proud of each and every one of you and uh, just wish you all the best in everything that you do going forward. You'll always be a Hillman and that's, that's a great family to be a part of. I know I'm proud to be a part of it. And I'm proud to have all of you a part of it with me. So thank you and congratulations. seniors just want to give a shout out to you guys on your accomplishments i know it's not ending the way that you want it to be but uh, as a principal i just want to say thank you and sincere thank you uh, your class is just outstanding uh, respectful and if i had to describe the class that's what i would tell anybody I've never had to worry about you i always knew that you were going to handle your business and that you were going to do well and that you were going to represent yourselves and our school and our community in the right way and you continue to do that even through these times. Um, so I thank you for that. Uh, most of all, uh, I I'm not gonna be able to shake your hand in person. That was my favorite part of being a principal. But uh, I really wish you the best and I have, I have all the faith in the world that you guys are gonna do really well. And I hope you enjoy the journey and look forward to the new adventures in front of you. Um, it's an exciting time. Don't take that for granted. Um, I hope you remember that you're a Hillman forever, and I wish you the best in the next steps.